Welcome back to this playlist, which talks about all the different real-time interview questions and answers on Tricentis Tosca. So let's move on to our next question, which is the question number 10. Now, if you have not watched or if you want to go back and look at the previous questions, then look at this playlist and all the previous videos, which will talk about all the other interview questions. So this interview question talks about all the best practices which you have implemented in Tosca. So you have to talk about which best practices did you implement and how it was effective. Now, my suggestion would be to include the top five best practices which you have implemented and which were beneficial for your project and your team. Also talk about all the outcomes of implementing this best practices in your Tosca project. Now you can include as many best practices as you want, but I would recommend a minimum of five. So let's talk about uh, the five best practices which could be included in this particular answer. Obviously, these are the best practices which I will recommend, but you can also come up with your own best practices which you have implemented in your real-time project. So talking about the first best practice uh, is about the review process. Now, any automation project would uh, require a proper review process, which is very important in terms of best practices, which should be implemented across the team. And you can only verify if these best practices are implemented using this review process. This also ensures that you're not introducing uh, any code which is not tested or not reviewed properly because this will go into your master branch and it could disturb all the scripts or test cases which were earlier working. So a proper review process is very important in any project. Now, how do you implement this review process depends completely on your team and your project, but you can use uh, something called the 4i check, but basically you can create uh, different folders um, and then you can assign different reviewers uh, when uh, your script is under different stages. Like initially you will start working uh, on your uh, test cases, so it will be in progress. Once you have completed, then you put it in a different folder where uh, you can ask your reviewer to review your test cases. So this could be uh, in review or your review folders. And once these are reviewed um, and they are finalized, all the uh, corrections or all the improvements have been done, then they can be moved uh, into the master folders, right? So this three layered folder structure could basically um, improve your review process and it will make sure that you are always reviewing the code or test cases which are being merged into your master uh, repository, right? Now coming to the next best practice, uh, it talks about the naming conventions. Now any project or any automation uh, code which you are writing, you should follow the naming conventions. Now it doesn't matter what naming conventions you follow, uh, either it is the industry standard, uh, which is the camel case, uh, which you uh, write for all the different uh, methods or all the different uh, class names, right? So you can follow the same uh, in Tosca as well. Uh, but it depends on your project and your team. If you're following a proper convention, then make sure that it is consistent across the project and uh, all the team members are also following that. Now coming to the next uh, best practice, uh, which uh, can be implemented is the use of verification points. Now, any testing you perform or any automation you do, verifications are very essential because you want to verify what your automation is actually executing and uh, also what it is returning. So the expected results should always match the actual results and then only your testing will be successful. And that can only be done using verification points. Now there are various ways you can implement uh, your verification in uh, Tosca test cases. One of the ways uh, is using the verify action mode um, or you can use any other verification uh, which you want to implement in your test cases. But uh, essentially, verification points should be implemented in every test case which is being written in Tosca. 
Now the next best practice uh, is about the folder structure. Now, as you keep developing uh, Tosca test cases uh, and you have a large team, your test cases uh, and your modules and your libraries will keep on growing and slowly it will become unmanageable. So it's always recommended that you put uh, different folder structures around all of your different components which you are working uh, while working with Tosca. No matter if it is uh, test cases or its modules, its libraries or its reports, or even if it's uh, related to something uh, or it's related to execution. Everywhere you should uh, put your folder structures. You should um, have all your folders uh, inside a particular component folder. And then every section should have its own folder structure, right? So that way you can ensure uh, that your project uh, is always manageable and it is easy to track the changes. Also, it is easy to find something in your project. Uh, and also it is easy for others to follow what is going on within the project. Now, the next uh, best practice talks about the workspace management in Tosca. Now, again, the same reason if you have got a large team and you are continuously building test cases uh, in Tosca, uh, slowly the workspace uh, will become very large. And uh, if it is not managed properly, then you will have performance issues, which will impact your execution. It will impact your day-to-day -day, uh, test case creation as well. So in order to avoid this, uh, we should always uh, manage our workspaces more efficiently. So we should make sure that uh, we are always compacting our workspaces. Uh, we should also divide uh, our workspaces uh, into different repositories if we have got uh, very large projects uh, and it requires a workspace of its own. Uh, we should also remove all the objects which are not necessary. We should also remove all the objects uh, on a day-to-day -day basis which we are not using anymore so that our workspace size is minimum and the performance of Tosca is not impacted by this workspace size. So all of these best practices um, could be implemented in a Tosca project, uh, and this will uh, increase the efficiency of um, the Tosca team. Also, it will reduce the time taken by the team to uh, deliver any particular uh, test cases uh, in Tosca, also to execute Tosca or to verify any particular test cases, um, it will overall improve the whole testing process which we follow within Tosca. So these are all the different best practices uh, which uh, you can talk about when you are answering this particular question. As I said, uh, these are not the only five uh, best practices. You can always mention more or you can always mention different best practices which you have implemented. So that's all for this particular question. I hope it was helpful. Um, as always, please uh, leave back your comments or feedback um, regarding this particular interview question or any other interview questions which uh, I have covered in this particular playlist. So thanks for watching. I'll be back soon with another interesting uh, lesson on this particular topic. Until then, uh, keep watching and keep learning.